Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we are back taking a look at another round of top tweaks. Now in this video in particular, I have 20 brand new tweaks that I wanted to share with you guys so you guys can check out some of the latest things you can install once jailbroken. All right, well, let's not waste too much time here. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe, and bookmark our H12 Jailbreak Status Checker page to be notified with the latest jailbreaking updates pertaining to this year's iOS 12 Jailbreak. Now, before we jump into things, this video is brought to you by Surfshark. It's by far the absolute best VPN service I've seen yet, and we actually have an incredible promotion going on with them, but we're gonna take a closer look at this later in this video. All right, well, let's get directly into to the top tweaks. Now the first one I want to talk about is called Magma. Now this one colorizes the control center platters or the actual toggles themselves. As you guys can see my volume rocker is blue, my brightness is yellow, my Bluetooth is red, and you guys can customize all of these settings within the settings app. So next up we have Photos Manager. Now, as you guys can see, there is a lot of clutter going on, and I really wish something like this was actually implemented into iOS, because now when you select certain photos, let's say these ones about my screen time, if I click Add To, now I can actually add to a new album and it's actually going to move it to this new album instead of just copying it to it. So it's going to actually remove it from the camera roll. So if I click move, and if I go ahead and give it a new name, let's just do ST for screen time. I'll click save, it moves it right there. As you guys can see on my all photos in my camera roll, it has actually removed those screenshots. So if I make this a little bit more apparent, if I go ahead and just select these eight right here, and move them to my screen time folder right there. Now, as you guys can see, all of those photos were removed from my camera roll. If I go back into albums and go into screen time, there they all are. They are now moved there instead of just copied. Now, another awesome one is called No Albums Title. As you guys can see, all of the titles are present right here on my albums. Let me go ahead and install this tweak real fast. And there we have it, guys. No more album titles. So that's a pretty simple one, but I really like how it looks on the Photos application. So this one is called Renovare, and it completely redesigns Cydia, giving it a more modern look. And all of these settings are customizable within the settings app. But as you guys can see, the layout of my tweaks are a little bit different. They have a nice bubble around them. If I go into installed, the same UI is present right here, and it looks really sweet, especially in Wish Dia. My wish list right here now looks super modern as well. Now it can also replace the home screen right here, but I have that option disabled. I actually like the original City of Home screen. It's kind of nostalgic, but I really like how this tweak looks for the rest of the UI. Anyway, that one's called Renovare. So next up we have Pullover Pro. You can just pull over right there to access a recently used application and you can do this while you're in any other application. It stays present right there on the home screen. So it's a quick way to access other applications and it is an awesome multitasking interface. Now if you actually hold down right here, it shows all your recently used applications. So we can go ahead and pull up something like Mail real quickly. It just takes a second to load and now the mail application is present right there. Or I can switch back to something like Cydia, and Cydia is immediately there then too. So I really like that one. I really like that it shows all your recent applications right here, and you can quickly switch back between them. All right, so these next few applications are centered around music. So let's go ahead and go to our notification center. As you guys can see, I have a couple things going on here. Now the tweak that I wanted to talk about in today's video is called Clean Player. It gets rid of the timeline right there and just makes the music player look a little bit cleaner on the home screen. Now I also have Next Up as well as Mashuda Infinity going on here and it makes it look really nice. 
So just a super clean, super modern music interface right here on the lock screen. Now, along with this tweak right here, I also have music locker, which basically places your phone into do not disturb mode while you're listening to music. So a pretty minor one, but I really like it. So I don't get a bunch of notifications while I'm listening to music. Again, continuing along the lines of music tweaks, the next one is called Micro Player 12, and you can invoke this one with an activator gesture. I just have double tapping on the status bar to pull it up. Now this music tweak right here is entirely gesture based. So if you click on it, that actually pauses it. If you swipe up, you have a little bit more detail. Swipe down to go back to the album cover right there. You can swipe right to actually go to the next song in your list, or again, swipe left to go back to the one that you were just listening to. And if you guys just press and hold on the tweak, then it will launch into the actual Spotify interface right here, so you guys can make a little bit more detailed of a selection. And then again, just press and hold on the icon right there to return back to the mini user interface. And again, this again is persistent in all of your apps until you invoke it to go away by just, again, Again, double tapping on the status bar or whatever gesture you have set. And if you guys want just a little bit smaller of a music player on the lock screen, this one called Sylph is for you. It basically just slims down the interface and you guys again can clean up the interface as well, making it nice and tidy. And again, it looks really great with next up right there. Anyway guys, that one's called Sylph. So I really like this next one. It is called Cone Ban and basically to the left where your today view normally is, it lets you actually pin an application right there. And right now I have Classic Player installed, so it basically is an iPod Touch right where your today view should be, just to the very far left. And again, this one fully works right now. I don't have too much actual music installed on my device. I'm listening to Harry Potter right now, actually, so I have this entire audiobook on my phone. But it's kind of a neat little tweak to have right there. I really like the interface and again, there is a dark mode as well. Anyway, that one's called Cone Ban, and again, the application that is currently pinned is called Classic Player. All right, guys, this is ICU, and we're going to take a quick break from Top Tweaks to check out Surfshark, by far the best VPN service we've come across here at the iCracker iDevice YouTube channel. Now, if you've been searching for a VPN, you're in luck. We're offering 83% off Surfshark. So for just $1.99 a month with the promo code ICU, you can actually take advantage of the best VPN currently on the market. Just use the link below it's the very first one. Now, beyond just doing things like securing unsecure networks so you can do things safely and securely on public Wi-Fi networks, something that a VPN also allows you to do is actually watch things through services like Netflix, BBC, Hulu that are actually locked to specific countries. So it unlocks libraries for other countries because of course you're utilizing a VPN and it reroutes your traffic through the country that that is approved. So that's a really awesome use case for Surfshark that we've been enjoying here ourselves. Now, device support is fantastic as well. Beyond just your iPhone, iPad, Mac OS, and Windows, this service even supports Xbox and Fire Stick. So what are you waiting for? If you want a VPN, definitely check out Surfshark. Again, very first link down below. Use promo code ICU at checkout to save 83% for $1.99 a month. Fantastic deal. All right, now let's kick things back over to Tony to check out the remainder of the tweaks for today's coverage. So this next one is called Find My iDevice XS, and it basically just replaces the Find My iPhone sound that your device actually plays when pressing play sound on like the computer or another iPhone. Anyway, the default one is pretty quiet, and this one basically just replaces it with a super loud sound. So let me go ahead and demo this. I'm gonna go ahead and play sound from Find My iPhone. So here we go. So as you guys can tell, that is just a bit louder than the stock Find My iPhone sound. 
Anyway guys, that one's called Find My iPhone XS. So as you guys know, I'm a big fan of Disconnected, which basically alerts you when your Wi-Fi network is connected or when it disconnects. Well, this new tweak called Proximitas basically lets you know when your Bluetooth devices are connected or disconnected. So when I have something like my AirPods right here, if I flick it up, and again, this is the AirPods 2 on an unsupported firmware, at least we get some notification or indication that the AirPods are now connected. But the awesome thing about this as well is when your AirPods disconnect, you also get a notification on screen. So if you guys forget your AirPods at a very common place, or if you guys are moving to a new place, and uh, just basically leave your AirPods behind, you'll get a notification that they've been disconnected and you can go back and pick them up. Anyway guys, just a super awesome tweak. I'm gonna give it a second here just so you guys can see the notification when the AirPods are disconnected as well. All right, so one more music one and this one's geared towards Spotify users. This one's called Artistry and it basically shows the actual album artwork in all of your playlists. So as you guys can see, I'm just in a typical playlist right here. Any of these playlists now, however, include all of the album artwork now for every single song. So super minor, but I really like the interface change there. So a really nice one, if you guys like haptic feedback, this one called Haptic Keys basically places haptic feedback on the keyboard or all of the keyboard touches. And I bring this one up because they did a really nice job at it. It's super nice, it's super subtle, it's nothing over the top here. And you guys can adjust the haptic feedback within the settings app. Anyway, a super great one to have if you guys like some haptic feedback on your keyboard presses. So this next one called Textile lets you actually customize your text. So if you just select the text that you guys want to stylize, click this little T icon right there, then you guys have a bunch of options. So let's go ahead and click Gothic, and there you go. It says this is a test of textile. So that's an awesome way to stylize your text directly within the Messages app or any other application. So next up within the control center, we have this little toggle right here, which is called Screender. Now this basically is a screenshot manager directly within the control center. So this was my most recent screenshot. If I just wanna get rid of it, I can click the trash icon right there, or I can swipe left and right and just start deleting screenshots right there. And as you guys can see, now I have no more screenshots on my device. Lastly, one more centered around the keyboard that I wanted to show you guys is is called action bar and this basically lets you copy cut select paste directly right here from the iPhone 10's bar at the very bottom or you guys can replace the predictive text right here too on older generation devices anyway a super awesome one to quickly copy cut and paste on iOS Anyway, that one's called Action Bar. So very lastly, as far as brand new tweaks go, now I guess we're going music heavy on this tweak video, but anyway, this one called Reach It adds music controls in the reachability window. And with my tweak called Floating Dock Plus, I can activate this just by swiping down on the dock. So that is what the controls now look like. It's super simple, but I really like that you have your music controls right there. Again, you can swipe down on the dock to activate it just like that. Anyway, I just wanted to remind everyone, definitely check out Snapback as well. This tweak is incredible to switch between multiple jailbreak setups. Now, I won't go too much in this video exactly how to use this tweak, but essentially that is the gist. You can back up all of your tweaks and switch between two different setups. We have an entire video dedicated just to this one tweak if you guys want a tutorial or if you want to check out more of exactly how this works. Anyway, that pretty much concludes this week's top tweak videos. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. There was a lot of new stuff that came out and there is continually a bunch of new stuff that continues to come out. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video and making it to the end. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe before you go if you wanna stay updated with the latest jailbreaking and Apple related news. Make sure to bookmark our A12 jailbreak status checker page and definitely check out Surfshark if you're looking for a VPN service. It is absolutely the best one I have found to date. Anyway guys, 
Thank you so much for watching this quick video. Before you go, definitely like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and if you want to stay updated with the latest jailbreaking and Apple-related news. Anyway, guys, until next time, this is Tony signing.